Hey everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to Sam Livecast. We did a little uh, chicken noodle soup on Friday. Oh, so good, right? Unbelievable. I had the leftovers. You did have the leftovers. And now we're making a little uh, shiitake mushroom soup. Look, shiitake mushrooms. Is that a wild mushroom soup? <laughs> I guess technically it might be. I was telling Max, I was in uh, uh, a hotel in Tampa the other day and I had a wild mushroom flatbread with arugula. So it was technically flatbread and there was technically arugula, but there was nothing wild about any of the fucking <laughs> mushrooms that was on the thing. The worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. Oh God. So how much of it did I eat? A quarter. All of it because I'm uh. a pig. <laughs> And fried green tomatoes that arguably the f tomatoes were okay, but there was some kind of disgusting gloppiness on top of it that I don't know what they were. I don't know what it was. All right. So look, Matt. You didn't need to see this. There's about uh, three quarters of a cup of onion diced, softening in there, it's right? Smelling great. Get a little color on it, okay? Now watch. Oh, let me just show you this. So shiitake mushroom looks like this. Here's what I do with it. I pull out the stem and then I just slice this way. Nice and thin. Right? Perfect. That's it. Put them into the big pot. So now, uh, now they go into the big pot. Like that. They're going to sit in here for a minute. They're going to go very fast. Back up, back up, back up, back up. That's all right. They're going to go fast. We're just getting a little flavor from there. Now we need some bok choy. So, bok choy. Love it, right? I cut the end off here to separate it. And then I don't want these pieces too thick at the thick end. So I'll get, I guess I'll, I don't know, I'll do like three of these guys. Bok choy is one of those unique and super awesome vegetables. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know why it's not used more often. Cause I don't think people maybe don't understand it. Yeah, they think it's for Asian cooking maybe. Yeah, well this is clearly an Asian soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, the bok choy goes in. I'm making a mess, man. Get all this stuff. So you've got onion, you've got shiitake, you've got bok choy, and then we're gonna put in four cups of chicken broth. You could use vegetable broth if you wanted. I mean, I kinda like I kind of like the flavor of chicken broth, so I'm going to use it. And you understand, you understand that what's going to happen now, over the next 10, 15 minutes, is that all the vegetables in here are going to start to wilt a little bit. So we're going to put a little soy sauce in, a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. One. Dose, right? A little mix. And that's it. Let it, bring it to a simmer. I'll say that again. Bring it to a boil. Turn it down to a simmer. Simple. Now I'm just waiting for that to happen and nothing's happening. Of course. Of course. Please, please. Just The classic watch pot doesn't boil. Or simmer. Or anything in my case. There's actually nothing happening in that damn thing. Oh, we'll come back. I was just thinking how important soup will be to my life right now because I'm feeling a little, a little paunchy. A little paunchy. Soup is one of those things. It's super hearty, super filling, and yet in the case of this, very little calories. Chicken broth, zip. 
vegetables zip. I'm not putting anything bad in this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this for 10 to 15 minutes. You don't have to watch that. But you got it so far, right? Mm -hmm. It's just onion sauteed in here, shiitake mushrooms, chopped up bok choy, and soy. That's it. We'll add two, three things on the other side. But until then, there's nothing to do but... Wait, I thought I saw something happening. There's nothing happening. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll see on the other side. This is going to almost be done, and then we'll be ready to boil it, eat it, love it. See ya. We're ready. So here's what we're going to add. We're going to add some salt. We always add salt, right? I'll say it again. Salt used the right way. It doesn't make food salty. It enhances natural flavors. So wow. get some salt. A few grinds of pepper. And then I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of sesame chili oil. If it needs more, it needs more. You know, sesame oil is one of those things that a little bit is great. A little bit too much is not great. Oh, fantastic. Hold on. Let me just give this a little taste. And see where we're, where we're at with this. I'm checking for spice. Teaspoon sesame chili oil. There we go. <coughs> oh my. Okay, done. Now here's what we, how we do this. Uh oh, where's my dad's bowl? What? I had a vision of how I wanted to serve this. And it's... It's in... It's, it's in my dad's... Oh, what the... Oh, fuck. What the hell? So, what? Oh, got it. My dad's rice bowl. My father was no longer here. Whenever he had rice at home, this was the bowl that he used. Don't know where he got it, but I love it. And this is how I want this. I want this, and I want this. We get a bunch of the vegetables first, and then some broth. You know, I use this little spoon. I could put green onion on it. I don't really need to. Let's get us some shiitake in here. Some bok choy. Gonna be hot. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow, is that good? There's nothing like a shiitake mushrooms. There's nothing like a shiitake mushroom. They make all of them, almost all of the mushrooms, pale. I know there's all kinds of fancy mushrooms out there. I'm just saying, I love a shiitake. Okay, to start a dinner with that, or just make a batch of that and put it in the fridge and then take it out for a late night snack, this is outstanding. Max is gonna go home with some of this today oh, for yeah. his, his vegetarian, his almost vegetarian wife. <laughs> so almost wife, who's a vegetarian? There That's you go. what I meant to say, right? Okay, thanks for hanging out. Uh, Wednesday, we're doing the tots, cheddar, bacon, tots. 
ish. Hell yes. Baked ish. Thanks for being here. See ya.